Tonight on You Pay For It, a by state commissioner is slamming an action by the CEO to eliminate ads on the outside of Metro Transit trains and buses. You Pay For It first told you about this deal this week. Now the commissioner says the CEO is on the wrong track. That is tonight's You Paid For It. One in four Metro buses, trains, and collar ride vans had advertising on the outside. By state made the contract with the firm five years ago to get that advertising. It has been pretty profitable for the agency. By state made between $1.3 million and $2 million a year off those ads for the past five years. Now, CEO Toby Roach says By state has decided to end that advertising program as of New Year's Day. But now, By state commission member Derek Keith Cox slamming the deal. Derek Toby Roach says it is a good deal for taxpayers ending this advertising arrangements. What say you? I totally disagree. And I think that everybody watching probably agrees. When you think about Metro bus or Metro link, the number one problem you don't think of is ads on the side of a train or a bus. The problem is being safe on the transit. We're kind of reflecting a successful pilot that's been done in St. Clair County. St. Clair County took the advertising off of the trains and buses in, in that county successfully over the past two years. And what we found is that the community simply likes it a little bit better. It has a more professional and more kind of profound imagery out to the communities that we serve. There were 144 ads on the buses, trains, and vans. Some had more than one ad on them. There were limits on what was allowed. Those ads included legal, financial, educational institutions, auto salvage, and entertainment. By State showed me the new color scheme for its buses that you'll see from now on. When I ask at a recent meeting, uh, how much would it cost and why can't we have a police officer armed at every platform, the, uh, the excuse was we didn't have enough money. Now we're going to lose $2 million in revenue. How's he going to make this up? If we didn't have it then, now we just throw it away. Doesn't make any sense at all. But that was generating up to $2 million in, in revenue. Why lose that revenue? Not everything is about money. Um, one, but one good thing is that over the past five fiscal years, we have we have consistently made a 1.5 percent growth budget. That means that our budget is sound and it makes sense. So when we can do things that the community wants us to do, that makes our image look good, then it's important that we do it. Bysaid says while you won't see ads in the outside of buses and trains, they will still allow them on the inside. They expect that to generate about $525,000. That a lot less than they got before. But Talby Roach says there's still something else to consider here. Every municipality, every train, every village that we go through, um, they have their own um, municipal ordinances about billboards and so on. And part of this is just respecting what that is and not having a rolling billboard through every single community. I'm all for making our trains and buses look nice, right? Uh, but in this atmosphere, when we have budgetary problems and it's all about safety and security, this doesn't make any sense. So I, it does not make sense to me. And I'm going to be calling for a board vote on this. But CEO Toby Roach, he fires back. He tells me that the loss of those ad dollars will not impact security by state points to his current $50 million project to make all the Metrolink stations safer by limiting access to customers only. Bystate also tells me that Metro Transit has also increased the presence of armed security. You know I'm going to keep you posted on the fight over these ads. After all, you paid for it. And the You Paid For team is always here for you if you spot of course, from government spending or if you feel like you need help looking into an issue impacting you, just take out your phone now and you can scan the QR code on your screen. It will take you right to uh, foxunow.com where you can send the You Paid For team a tip.